Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning how to make a fancy looking dock. I, I think this looks pretty cool, but believe it or not, I'm not, I'm not that good at building stuff. This is really simple and you can do it. Let's look at all the different features that a nice Valheim dock has. First off, it needs to have a workbench, but it's better if it's covered so that you can repair your gear. You can just jump out, repair your gear, and go to town. The main reason you need a workbench is so that you can easily repair while you're on your boat. Pull out your hammer and then just repair the boat without having to get off the boat. Another feature your dock should have is access to storage from carts. Carts are amazing and remember with your cart that you can't just have your carts there, they also need to be able to get off the dock so you can take them somewhere, right? So make sure that your cart can easily go up to the rest of your base. It's also very convenient to have some quick storage that you can load things into. Valheim has a lot of item management and you sort of need some chests that are your designated dumping chests that you just put all the stuff into. And then you take the stuff out of those and sort it later, right? There's two visual features that make this dock pop out and make it look cooler than it really is. Once you know these two features, you'll be able to make really cool docks just like this and impress your buddies. The first thing is having two layers, or let's call them tiers. The first tier, here, and the second tier, there. Adding a second tier to the dock just makes it look more deep and intricate. And it gives you some storage space because you can keep the carts underneath. The second trick is to just trim everything up, and adding these posts really makes the dock pop. Another thing that's really easy to overlook is, well, what happens if you fall in the water? So you need some stairs that you can easily go up onto from the water. You can also use these ladder things here. Again, you need to make them about two units deep into the water for them to function properly. And you should put two of them next to each other because they're not really going to work as well and it'll be easy to fall off if there's just one. The next feature to consider is how long or how many boats do you want your dock to sort of hold. If you're playing with a lot of people or you want to make it so that you know you have a spot where you can die, get in a boat, sail off, die, get in a boat, sail off, each boat is basically another lifeline for you to get your body back, right? So having more of them, especially the carves, because they're cheaper, uh, it's just a good idea. So you might want to consider having like a fleet of like three or four of them. Now that we've covered all the features, let's get into the basics of building one of these docks. I assure you, it looks more complicated than it is. To get started, you'll need a little bit of core wood and a lot of wood. Let's start by making the frame. Place your workbench nearby, anywhere works and get these four meter log beams and then place it based on the terrain. You have to look into the water and see where the terrain is more shallow. You can see that this sort of mound right here is perfect so we could make our dock come out here without any problems. So I'll place the beam here. And at this point it's usually a lot easier to build from the boat. And now we're just going to keep going out here. Three of these poles. There we go, we have our three poles. And from here, we should be able to look at the ground because it's shallow and then build one of these poles underneath it. See, just like this, see how it snaps into place? That's perfect. This is the spine of the dock. Once you have this part, everything else is easy. Okay, so you make that core wood spine, and then you just add one of each of these wood floors on each side. So one, and two. And here we go, we've filled it up, and we have a functioning dock now. Looks nice next to that boat, doesn't it? But it looks a bit weird, you know, it doesn't really look dock-like. Let's finish it up. Add the posts every maybe two squares, right, on each side. And then if you really are rich in wood and you can afford it, trim it up. 
there we go. Once you trim it up, this is what you'll get. Like, let's say you want to make something that has multiple levels. You can make it above ground, which will make it easier for you to make it, right? So we can do something like this. That's not big enough, so let's place it up there. And then pop one in right there. And let's say we want to make a frame that sort of turns, right? We want to make practice with a right angle. And here we have our frame. And it looks different, but I just apply the same exact technique that I showed you before. Where we're going to fill the frame up with these wooden floors here. And there we go. We have our little right angle. See how you start your shape with the frame? And then it's all the same. You just add the pieces to the frame. And here we go. Looks more normal now, doesn't it? We got a proper dock with a little curve there. With a little right angle. And you can see how much better it looks when you trim it up. Now, this is a great chance to add a tier, a lower tier, as you saw in the previous dock. And it's quite simple to add the floor because of what we did earlier with this framework. We can just build off of the existing frame. And each floor can be one or two meters below the other one, right? So we're going to put a two meter beam right there to make a snap point. And from here, all I have to do is place another two meter beam. See how it stays in the snap point? We can simply place our floors. Now for the lower tier, you should keep it kind of narrow because you can't go too far out before you'll start to need support for the pieces. There we go. Always looks way better with the trim, doesn't it? I just love how the two tiered look is. But now we have an issue because there's no stairs. So we need to add safety stairs so when we fall in the water, we can get back up. And we also need to add stairs to get to the second layer here. So this looks like a great spot for some stairs. So here we're going to add our stairs that access the ground and also are wide enough for a cart to go up, right? Two. But now we need to be able to access this upper tier here. I think there's more space over here, so it makes sense to have the staircase be somewhere like, maybe like this. I want to be able to take the carts by it, so I'm going to use a smaller ladder here. And then just add some basic trim to it. Boom, and boom. Now we should be able to get up, no problem. Looks a bit weird with this post here, so I'm going to move it. There we go. That's it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this building tutorial. It's fun to make these docks, and they're really simple. Once you get the hang of building them, it's easy, and it looks really cool, especially once you add the layering and all the trim. So I hope that you have a good time, and you can make a cool dock for your base. If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing a dedicated Valheim server so that your friends can play on your Valheim world when you're not around. It's a great way to make the game more interactive and immersive because it allows other people to build stuff and do whatever while you're not playing. Also, if you want to comment below with a tutorial or an idea for me to make a video about, I love to make videos in response to your comments and suggestions. So please give me some feedback, let me know what you think, and let me know what ideas you have about videos I could make. I love making Valheim videos, it's one of my favorite ways to play the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!